What's up chickies, it's Baron here today, we're going to be going over the Caterpillar, whether or not you should buy it, but before we get into it, don't forget the T16000 dual stick giveaway, hashtag sticks, if you want more entries, become a channel member or patron, we're going to be giving them away at 8000 subscribers, also don't forget to subscribe, join the discord, check all the links in the description, watch this video to the end. As you all may know, this is the OG cargo hauler which in very recent times has gone up in price which is odd within itself now funny enough some people don't care for details such as this ship has modularity yeah that's right each one of those areas with the doors that come down each one of those cargo spaces is a module so the ship will be able to be configured as you like whatever the modules will be we don't know so people have made obviously fan made art and videos with the caterpillar on modules that they have made but whether or not they will come to fruition we don't know now which ship would you want would you want a caterpillar or would you want a herc i know what you would say you would want the herc at the moment the caterpillar is bugged i tried to get some video footage with it but obviously i could not get in it I had to go to PO and there was just, it's just a massive fight right now, just trying to actually spawn a ship at PO. It, it, it's just many people killing, but we're just going to get straight into it. So, obviously, like I said, this ship is going to be very heavily modular. Now, the command module where you actually command and fly the ship from, that is also modular. That can be taken and disconnected from the cat and be used to move multiple cat hulls or used as an escape ship. Now, the cat captains have been known to race the command modules while they wait for their cargo. Now, the cargo module is unique in the sense that it can be loaded from both uh, starboard and port side. As you can see, its doors come down on both sides. The front cargo bay is good for additional storage. It can hold vehicles like the Dragonfly. It is equipped with an air shield which allows crew to transfer pallets without decompressing. It has a cargo lift, uh, man turrets, multiple um, sensors, so they're like parking sensors on the front of it, which is also very strange but it's for piloting as well. For the components on this, you have three times two uh, size two radars, you have three size two computers, you have three, two size three power plants, sorry, two size three coolers, two size three shield generators, two size three fuel intakes, one size three fuel tank, one size three quantum drive, one size three jump drive, and one size three QT fuel tank. Now, along with that, I think this is for the command module, but for the radar, one size one, computers, one size one, power plants, two size one, coolers, two size one, shield gen, two size one, fuel intakes, one size one, fuel tanks, one size one, QT drive, one size one, and QT fuel tank, one size one. So the module is actually going to be very, very useful. If you need to get out quick, smart, then you can use that module. You don't have to sit around and wait. The weapons on it is a one size five with two size three m5a's on it so they're going to be a dual mount you also have <coughs> two size three with dual size five uh, size two sorry m4a's then you have two size sixes with four size four m6a's on it so it's going to be a, quite a significant a capable ship of doing what you want it to do now it does come in two models you have the pirate model and you have the normal model the pirate model i've done a video on you get that by doing pirate aggressor and it's nothing really special it's just the skin on it now there is something unique about this it does have a tractor beam station which consists of a terminal that allows the ship to safely guide debris and even errant cargo directly into the inside access door of the cargo modules which is quite interesting if you really do think about it now this does have quite a few skins for it it has the best in show for 29.49 it has the pirate skin as i just mentioned if you do pirate swarm in arena commander it has deck the hole from a Luma luminalia event it also has the ghoulie screen from day of vera vara it also has icebreak from the luminalia again it has polar and stormbringer now the stormbringer paint looks really cool the ghoulish is pretty cool as well i don't mind it as much um, but it is pretty decent now if you want to get a caterpillar like i said it has gone up in price to about 330 dollars i believe if you do want to get one obviously there's a lot more capable cargo ships out there this does have 576 reported cargo which i don't even think it's that anymore i don't 
think it's actually that much. If I've last looked at it, I think it has less than the Herx, but again, it's a pretty capable ship. It has 8 million stowage space, it takes a crew of 2 to 4, it's considered large, and its role is transport. You can buy it in game for 4.68 T6. Uh, 600 you can also rent it for 93,732 UEC or if you go onto arena commander you can rent it for 46,866 REC now for the price it's 330 its original price was 225 its war bond price is 295 it's a time limited sale the ship is 111.5 meters long 39 meter beam and 12 and a half meters high as a combat speed of 99 ms a maximum speed of 894 ms and a max a mass of 1,666,063 kilograms so it's not a bad ship it's pretty good i like the way they've structured it and made it look i don't know what it is about it but i do like the look of it i know a lot of other people that do like it and obviously have made a lot of money in this ship so i wouldn't go and disregard this thing like i've said it is a little bit slow and sluggish but it is a nice ship and it is a good pace to fly and just chill out if you want to do some nice chilled cargo for sure so like i said this ship's going to be module uh, modular so if you want to have a ship that's going to be really good and and really customizable in the verse the, the caterpillar is going to be a really good option for you what these like modules are going to be we don't know we can only theory craft on what they will be eventually obviously but um being that you know there's a lot of potential for this ship and people don't really see that potential i'm just trying to let you know what this ship is capable of i'm going to add the caveat you can buy these ships in game you don't have to go and buy them out with real money so it's up to you what you want to do but you know like i said it's going to be a decent ship and it'll be more than affordable in game so yeah if um you really do like this ship i mean go for it if you've got lagardus well you've already got it if you've got praetorium you've probably already got it but if you're someone that's looking to get this you know it's a good ship i do like it and i do try and put like commend all these ships now obviously there's gonna be more capable cargo haulers coming out later on down the track of this year even next year and uh, i would probably just sit on it probably use it in the ccu chain and try and get it a little bit cheaper but that's pretty much my thoughts on it i do like the ship it's been baron i'll see you in the verse